I am in the front seat of yet another Ford and I'm here with Erica. Erica is on her way to Summon at 33. We wanted to stop and have a chat and learn about this gorgeous, gorgeous hot rod that is all the way from New Zealand. Welcome, Erica. Hey, how are you doing, Lara? Absolutely marvellous. Now, <laughs> this hot rod is gorgeous. 1940 edition. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, so tell me a little bit more about it because it did not get envisioned by Henry Ford and come off the showroom floor like this. No, not at all. And actually, uh, 1940s were hay, hay bale truck, haulage truck in uh, for farming back in its day. Right. So, and that was, I think, its life um, prior to coming to New Zealand. Um, it was three owners in New Zealand when, when my dad purchased it when I was 14. Um, we got it for a steal and drove it around, um, did a couple of colour changes. Um, we did California suede, matte black for a little bit, you know, put the white walls on, just um, personalised it and then um, decided to customise it, like radically customise it. And um, dad was in a bit of a, a couple of car clubs and so was I and kind of the we were talking about what we wanted to do, cut the roof off, lean the screen back a little bit, really kind of um, make it like a sort of grandpa um, Peaky Blinder cap for it type thing, you know, mm -hmm. which is sat in the, in, the, in the tray and just totally change its look completely. And we also, when coming up with the customization and the paint, I did um, a massive test panel because we wanted to flame it and do the hot rod style, but keep it classy looking as well. So, um, and I think that we've done that really, really well, that it, we've got the hot rod aspects to it, we've got the customization aspects to it, the low maintenance of running by not changing anything too wildly. Um, it was built in, in New Zealand by me and my dad. Um, I brought it over and did the whole import process about two, two or so, or just under two years ago. Um, I've always wanted to do a summer nationals. It's, I've been in Australia for six years and this is the year and I've geared everything up, we're all ready to go and we're about ready to head off and drive down to the Summer Nationals, the biggest bogan fest in Australia. <laughs> oh no, no, actually it's not. Is it no, not? oh god, no, 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 there are far bigger bogan really? fests out there, I've got to put that on record. <laughs> Summer Nationals, it used to be this bogan fest, but it's cleaned up its act, it's very much a family event, great fun. I know the first time I went was about 15 years ago mm. and everyone kept saying to me don't go after dark you'll get right don't do this yes. don't do that you've heard <laughs> all these stories? stories i have right down to uh when i booked my ticket and i, I registered the truck down there i i went and bought a site for the campsite because i thought you know what do aussie do it the aussie way and then i went and watched all the all the old of the, the YouTube videos on the summer nets and I went, oh no, and I've gone and booked a motel room now. <laughs> I'm not going to camp down there. Look, it's not about the people. I would feel perfectly safe and happy <laughs> to camp there, but I don't want to sound like a big girl, but I love aircon. Yeah. And summer nets yeah. is hot. Yeah. Redefines that's... hot. And one of my favorite things to do is watch the fashion choices oh. of summer nets because boob tubes don't make a showing all year till summer nets. Yep. And it's yeah, men yeah. and women wearing them. <laughs> You must have a sombrero. Sombreros are essential. Get yourself a sombrero. But, you know, you see people out there and they're wearing the little shoestring singlet, strap singlets, and you just think you're going to crisp. Yeah. 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 Slip, yep. slop, slap, folks. Yeah, my, my biggest recommendation for summonettes. But absolute blast. I love summonettes. If you're into cars, no matter what kind of car you're into. Yep. I, I took a girlfriend with me ages ago, years and years and years ago, and she's very much Fast and Furious, Rice Burner, Hot Pink, everything. Yeah. And I'm very much old school, muscle yeah. car, must be V8. Yeah. And we got to Summonettes and just parted ways and didn't see each other till that night because she went off looking at a stretched hot pink Hummer limo. And I'm just, that is an obscenity. I know. She's horrible. Yeah. But she thought it was the best thing ever. So no matter what kind of car you're into, you will mm -hmm. find it at find Summonettes. It down there. Yeah. Um, member pack a sombrero. Yeah. They have them there. Lots I've of got cool the layers. print little oh, parasol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, to match the car, so I'll be. Crazy. I'm gonna have to find something leopard print so I can see. So you can put in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, it is a brilliant, brilliant weekend. See you all at Summonats mm. 33. Yep. And all the Kiwis, I finally get to go. Woohoo! <laughs>